Hi, everyone. Welcome to Wino Bingo Night. We are coming to you virtually again, and we have a couple of special guests with us to help with Wino Bingo. The, our friends are coming from the American Heart Association of Wisconsin. So they are going to be helping call bingo, also talking about all of the amazing things that they are doing right now, especially with everything happening. And so first off, I want to encourage everyone, they've made it really easy to donate tonight. So if you can, please make a donation. You can just text Wino Bingo to 41444. So you just text that code Wino Bingo. It's all one word. So if you text that, then they're going to uh, text you back with a link and it'll be super easy to make a donation tonight. And then if you look in the description for the video, there is going to be a link for you to download your bingo cards. So if you want, you can print them out or if it's easier, you can just take a screenshot of them on your phone. There are over 200 different cards. So make sure you pick whatever your favorite number is or something. Don't just pick the first couple ones because then everybody's going to get bingo at the same time. So watch out for that. And so I'm going to walk you through uh, how to play bingo tonight. So of course, hopefully you've got your bingo cards and then uh, you can download up to two of them. There's a link in the description. And then if you want to print them, you can or just bring them up on your device, like I was saying earlier. And then if you're already watching this, hopefully you figured out how to go to the live feed. But and then once you get Wino, just send us a Facebook message or leave a comment in the comment section and we'll be keeping an eye on that. And another big thing is do not clear your card until we tell you to clear your card, because sometimes we like to have more than one winner. So we're going to have a good time tonight. We'll go through more of the rules here in a bit, but next I want to turn things over and introduce you all to our friends from the American Heart Association of Wisconsin. So hello guys. How are you all doing tonight? Hi. <laughs> hello. Good. Hi everyone. How are you? Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. So Cindy, I'll start with you. Can you kind of introduce and let us know what your position is with the American Heart Association and talk a little more about all of that. Sure. Uh, well, I am the director of Go Red for Women and the STEM Goes Red programs that we have here in the Madison area. Um, we have been around for 96 years. So next week we are celebrating our birthday. So yeah. happy birthday to us. Um, I brought along Charmaine Fryer. She's the Senior Development Director. And Jessica Lack, she is the Director of HeartWalk. Charmaine, do you want to talk a little bit about who we are, what we do? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, my name's Charmaine, and as uh, Cindy shared, I am the Senior Director of Development for um, our Madison Socials. So I um, have a Heartball event coming up here next, not next week, the week after, June 18th, and um, would love for anyone to join. We're, um, if you visit our website, heart.org um, backslash Madison Heartball, you can find all the specifics on that event. Um, what else do you want me to share, Cindy? Sorry, kind well, of put me on the spot. It wasn't. No, that I. Well, you know, you're used to it. Uh, it's a virtual event. We have an auction. There's yep. lots of stuff going on. So. Yep. Yeah, this is our first ever virtual event. So I'm getting my practice here tonight. Um, 
but yeah, we, um, the Heart Ball really is a celebration of everything that the American Heart Association has done here in Madison throughout the year. So um, we'll hear from uh, an amazing survivor family from Wanakee. Um, we have a band, um, Wheelhouse, who will be doing a live performance for us. And then just really sharing um, the mission of the, the American Heart Association and everything that we've been working on here locally. Yep, and our mission is to be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives for everybody. Awesome. Oh, I think we lost Jessica. We did lose her. <laughs> yeah. Good old Wisconsin uh, reception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I think that all of our events are listed on our American Heart Association Wisconsin Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested, we have a lot of different ways that you can become involved, donate, oh, here she comes. volunteering, attending events, spread the word. Here she comes back. <laughs> but there's so many different ways to be involved with us. We do so many things. Awesome. Is there yep. anything else you guys want to share right now? Um. I, I think I was hoping that Jessica could talk a little bit about Heart Walk. Um, no, I, I, well, oh, we are she doing looks, a lot with she COVID. Looks she looks frozen. <laughs> I haven't seen there her. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Jessica, hi, can you hear us? Hi. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I logged off because I couldn't hear. Oh. oh. You're freezing up a little bit. The joys of technology. Yeah, well, I think she's mobile right now. She's on her way to Manaqua. I did want to say that we are doing an awful lot for COVID right now. Yeah. Um, we found out that 40% of patients that are hospitalized with COVID have cerebrovascular and cardiovascular diseases. And that's worldwide. That's a, that's a huge number. And we need to know why and how, what are the short-term effects, long-term effects of that. Saying, um, hear everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and there she goes. Uh, we're also uh, working on acceler. Yep, we're also working on accelerating some antiviral drugs. I think we all can agree that maybe a little bit of science right now is going to help us out in the long run while we are social distancing together. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you there, Jessica? Or are you still frozen? She, she looks frozen. Yeah, she looks frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when maybe she'll hit a good spot and, you know, then she'll be able to talk a little bit about what she does. She's involved with the Heart Walk, you were saying? Yeah, she's the director of the Heart Walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can I can share a little bit about what the Heart Walk looks like. So um, the Heart Walk takes place um, in the fall, normally at the, at the Mallard Stadium. And I think, um, and I wish... Jessica could correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the intent is to hopefully all be able to gather still this fall. Um, but our Heart Walk um, really brings the community together to raise funds and raise awareness for the American Heart Association. We have um, a ton of families that come out for that event. Um, our hospital partners are obviously huge supporters. Um, you can bring your dogs. It's just a really nice way to start a Saturday morning, get out, have a nice walk. Um, and it's typically, um, we, we typically try, and I, I could be wrong this year, but we typically try to plan that around a Badger Saturday. So there's not a Badger game. So um, no excuses to, yeah. to not come out and join us. Right. And there's, you can sign up on heart.org to be a team if you want to. I know a lot, I live in a neighborhood of a lot of walkers. So I'm actually going to host a, a, a walking team here in my neighborhood. So it's easy to participate. It's a lot of fun. It's healthy. Um, and it's really a good time. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. So what are you drinking tonight, Amanda? <laughs> well, so I should preface this with I asked my husband to pour my glass of wine. And this is oh my what I got. <laughs> and I've already taken a sip or two. So I, I did not pour this. He did. I, wow. As much as I do enjoy it, I don't usually <laughs> 
pour this big like, of a glass. So a whole bottle and a whole bottle and a glass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I think this is probably at least half the bottle. <laughs> so after you getting oh, you could have saved you some time and just put a straw in the bottle, huh? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, did, I don't know if I've got one of those straws that's big enough, but that would be a good investment for me. <laughs> oh, so. Lee. Lee said she loves doing the Janesville Heart Walk, assuming yes. it won't happen this year. Do you know anything about that, Charmaine? I know, is Carrie on? I think she might she might be typing. I don't know. But what's the story? Anything? Do we you know? know? I, I actually don't know the answer to that question. Okay. I wish I did. Um, I think along with most people in most events right now, we are um, kind of just waiting it out and, and seeing, you know, what happens because everything's changing on a, a daily basis. I mean, again, the intent is to move forward with that event, but um, it's kind of wait and see right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hi, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, do you guys want to get started with play and sure. big? And then uh, you guys can always, as we're going, um, fill in. And Jessica said that she's having technical issues, but she's really excited. <laughs> to oh, be uh, <laughs> Harry just texted me and she said that the Heart Walk will be on September 20th. Oh, great. Yeah, so... Keep an eye out for that. Go to um, American Heart Association Wisconsin, the website, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, the Facebook page. And okay. that should have all of our in, our, our events listed on there. Okay. It's at Library Park in Janesville Performing Arts Center. So this is oh, from Gary. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's all right. right. All right. Okay. So if you guys have any more questions for them, Please feel free to leave them in the comment section and we'll keep an eye on that as we go here. And uh, I'm sure Cindy or Charmaine will be more than happy to answer any questions or anybody else who's watching from the American Heart Association. So we're gonna get started here with our first round of uh, Why No Bingo. And oh. I think we should do just a classic Why No Bingo just like vertical or horizontal to get started. Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever I've, never, I've well. never played Wino Bingo before, so you tell me. So Wino Bingo is really similar to just regular bingo, only instead of using just like letters and numbers, like instead of saying like B4, we have wine names, events, food, all kinds of good stuff that happens oh, at fun. the winery. Okay. And so the Timber Hill logo that you kind of see on up near Cindy there, that logo is the free space on all the cards. So if you have that on your card, which hopefully you do, if not pick a different card maybe. <laughs> and then, so that's the free space. And then we like to switch it up. So each round we'll do something different. Uh, so like we usually start off with vertical and horizontal then we can maybe do diagonal and switch it up. So so then I'll try to keep track too of what Cindy's called in case people have questions on what <laughs> has already been called and whatnot. And then we'll go from there. All so right. this first time we'll try to get a vertical or a horizontal line across the board. Okay, tell me if I'm going too fast, type in the box. I have the, the live comments up here. So the first thing is spiced wine. Second, rhubarb. Am I doing it right, Amanda? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you sound great. Ooh. Oh, lemon. Lemon wine. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> that um, one is part of our summer collection. Oh. You know, I'm gonna, we're gonna I'm have, gonna have to try that. We're gonna have to have a field trip. Yes. I think so. Ooh, fermentation. That's, fermentation. That's an important step. <laughs> it sure is.
Marquette Rose, Rosé. Yep. Marquette Rosé. I'm drinking Rosé. Yeah, that looks yummy. <laughs> so when somebody has a bingo, they type in the box, yes? Or yep. So once you get a wino bingo, just go ahead and leave a comment that you got a wino. And then don't clear your boards if somebody else says wino because uh, we may go for a second winner. Oh, Jenny just had a question for you, Amanda. Yeah. So, Jenny, this this is our first round. And so we're just going vertical or horizontal. I'll put that in the comment section, too. Excellent. Ooh, pineapple. Pineapple. I love that fruit. You guys have pineapple wine? Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh, this is a favorite one. Tasting room. <laughs> I just noticed I didn't do my nails today. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's quarantine. What's you wrong know? with you? What's wrong with you? I know. I know. <laughs> what was that last one, Cindy? Oh. Sorry. Um, tasting. Wasn't it a tasting room? Tasting yeah. room. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Tasting room. Yep. I was typing the vertical or horizontal in this one. Yep. And then... So we had tasting room and then you had craft night. Yep, awesome. craft night. Bottle. You're familiar with bottles, right, Charmaine? You got a baby. I actually have one crying in there right now. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm leaving daddy alone on a Friday night. This could this could turn ugly quick. <laughs> Hope not. Ooh, Sunday Fun Day Sparkling. That sounds I like, like a fun. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's a popular one. <laughs> is that like a white or a red? That one is a sparkling white wine. Okay. I Well, I guess what, sparkling? I, I don't know. They they make sparkling red wines. We don't have really? one yet, but I've been tempted oh. to make one. Delaware. Delaware, tell me what is what does Delaware have to do with wine? <laughs> That's actually a name of a grape that can grow in the Midwest. Ah, okay. Nice. Same learning. <laughs> this is very educational. Mm -hmm. Wine chiller. Everybody needs one. The, the the heat's coming on now with the summer. Glass. Reserve red. Cindy, are you drinking anything tonight? <laughs> oh, you got your water in the wine glass. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's actually sparkling water. I thought you were gonna put. Co I thought you were gonna drink coffee. You should have put coffee in your wine glass. <laughs> you know, I actually I contemplated that, but it's it's almost blasphemy, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Cookie class. I need to know more about this. What is cookie class? We started doing cookie decorating classes probably like a year and a half ago. And so we had a local bakery come in and they brought in just plain sugar cookies and then all the different colors of frosting. And she taught techniques on how to make them pretty. Wow. Wine tasting. Uh, the cookie decorating was super popular. We, uh, you know, paused that, and then we also started doing cupcake decorating classes in the spring. That was fun. Buck. Any bingos yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, let us know what, if you're getting close, guys. Haley's Corker. What is that? So I wish I had one right here. Uh, it's a little like stopper, pour, aerator, like five in one thing that you put on top of the bottle. And so once you like open the bottle, you put the Haley's corker in and it has like a filter and it, it's a dripless pour. It's pretty handy. Champagne saver. 
Well, that takes all the fun out of having to finish the champagne right off the bat, huh? Loses <laughs> all the bubbles. Right. <laughs> Such a problem. Yeah. Pizza. Okay, I'm gonna mess up this. Front front to neck gris. Three. <laughs> Yep, Frontenac Gris. All right, well. It's probably a French word, I'm guessing. <laughs> sure. French to me. It is, for sure. Great. <laughs> Great press. Harvest. Board painting. Ooh, I like these. Mimosas. Yeah. <laughs> St. Croix. My battery's about to die. Wine pairing. How's the speed? Am I going too fast, too slow? Oh, but we might be able to slow it down just a little bit, but for oh, those okay. that are playing along, let us know. I'm I'm keeping up with my typing, but <laughs> I don't if people have multiple cards, I don't know. Okay, I'll slow down just in yeah, case. Let us know if the pace is good, if you want us to go faster, slower, same yep. pace, whatever you're thinking. Let me know. I'm new at this. Oh, Marquette. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> yeah, <I think> Jeff's <laughs> comment. <laughs> Julie says right. it's great. Jeff, yeah. you're Jeff's comment. Two cards is a bit tricky, but he hasn't had too much wine yet. So <laughs> Well, it's still early, Jeff. Yeah. Pretzels. Hopefully he's got a more reasonable pour than mine. <laughs> sure. So are people playing over at the winery right now? Or is it this virtual completely? We do have, so we've got a TV up at the winery, and so we've got this up on the TV there, and we've got cards there, so people can be playing at the winery, too, if they want to. Nice. Oh, Jenny asked, <laughs> her dog jumped on her sheet, so she asked if raspberry rosé has been called, which it has not. No, has not. Here, I will post in the comments section what has been called so far. Okay. And then. Oh, okay. You did. Awesome. You've got a new one there, Cindy. I do. Family Feud Trivia. Red wine. Raspberry rose. So now raspberries can been called Jenny. Yep. <laughs> Raspberry rose. There you go. White wine. I need to know more about this. Widow's Weekend. What is so, that all about? So that is our white blend. It's called Widow's Weekend White. Oh, we got a wino. Yeah. Okay, here, let me post this. I've got a fun little... Yay, wino. 
Congratulations, Jenny. <laughs> what does she win? Do you know? Yeah. So uh, whenever you win Wino, just send us either a picture or a screenshot of your card to our Facebook Messenger, or you can email us too. And then we uh, will send you a coupon. You can either get a free wine tasting, a free wine pouch, or a free glass of wine. So it's up to you, whatever you wanna use the coupon for. Nice. So this is, uh, we're starting fresh, so I put all these back in? Yeah, let's start fresh. Let's do some diagonal this time. Oh, Jessica just typed in. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Tell me when to start. So we're going to go diagonal again. It looks like Charmaine is back. You want to come back on the screen, Charmaine? <laughs> yes, I, sorry. My, I was having technical difficulties, and now I have my husband's Bluetooth something, and I've discovered that he has giant ear holes because these are like <laughs> almost painful to put in. <laughs> my ears are so big. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Jessica. Jessica's had a really tough day today with technology. She had a computer issue, and you know, it's it's a Friday. Yeah. Feels like a Monday, I think, in her world, probably. <laughs> She can join us virtually in the comment section. That'll work out. <laughs> yeah, she, she's here. She's with us. Okay. So this uh, this game is diagonal? diagonal. Yep. So we're clearing our cards, and we're starting with round two, diagonal. All right. Okay. Chips and salsa. Oh, fermentation just came back up. <laughs> I I swear I'm I'm mixing them up. It seems like every bingo night there's like a a word or two that gets called every time. Fermentation might be the one tonight. <laughs> Maybe. Well, here's Saint Croix. I want to say there's like a hundred and some words, so there's a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I love the strawberry. I just planted 24 strawberry plants. I'm hoping, to, I'm hoping to at least get one or two. I've never done it before. So, oh, bottle. I'm struggling here. <laughs> Wine pouches. Ooh, this sounds really interesting. Sparkling almond. Yeah, that one's a really popular one. We're out of it right now, and there are a lot of people that want to like pre-order a whole case of it. <laughs> really, is it seasonal? Is there a certain time of year? Well, so my plan when we first released it, I only had enough made for it to be seasonal. We did it uh, for December. So I was like, oh, this will be perfect for the holidays and New Year's. And oh. But everybody loves it so much they want it year round. <laughs> yes. So we're trying to get more made so that we'll be able to keep it in stock year round because that's what everybody wants. <laughs> sure. Semi-sweet. I tend to lean always towards like the, the Rieslings, you know, with a kind of a sweet finish. But I'm definitely, uh, I love Wisconsin wines. Wine pairing. Oh, Jeff is on Team Almond. <laughs> All right. He wants the almond back. <laughs> Jeff is a regular. <laughs> Jeff is actually, uh, he actually is one of our staff members. He works at the Oh, <laughs> all right. Bloody Mary. Ooh, yep, I like that. 
I love Bloody Marys. Oh, yeah, we make a Bloody Mary with our jalapeno wine, and so it's got a nice taste to it. <laughs> what? That's... It calls an extra olive, always. Ooh. Yeah, I like horseradish, too. I like the, the bite to it. Okay. Throwback Thursday Red. So we also have uh, what heart walks up in Green Bay, and we also have heart walks in um, Appleton area. Exciting events! Oh, hey, I'm just talking about exciting oh, events. Speaking of, speaking yeah, of, <laughs> nice segue. Speaking of exciting events, so that what's the best way to find those heart walks? Is that on the Facebook page or the website? Again, American Heart Association Wisconsin Facebook page for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really good about updating events and everything. Doe. Here's another harvest. I swear I'm trying to mix these up, everyone. <laughs> I'm doing my best. You're doing great. Okay. Wine tasting. Ooh. Spiced white. That sounds really yummy. Yeah, we made that one as like a winter wine and we were serving it warm. And then a couple of weeks ago, I tried it. I made a sangria with it, a spiced sangria. And Ooh. that's another one that I thought was going to be seasonal, but it's actually fun to have year round. Yeah, I like spiced wine in the winter, kind of warm, you know. Yep. Herd member. How many herd members do you have? Uh, I think we're over the 300 mark now. So. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's such a fun little wine club that we have. <laughs> How could it not be fun? It's a wine club. Yeah. Raspberry rosé. Whoop, there. Seeing it backwards on my screen. Bottle filler. Charmaine says she keeps getting kicked out. Yeah. Herd Wine Club. <laughs> we had herd members, now we have Herd Wine Club. <laughs> Corking machine. My husband made some homemade wine uh, several years back and corked them, and I had no idea that there was such a thing that you could do at home. <laughs> Spiced red. Yeah, when we first uh, started, we had a hand corker where we had to crank the cork yeah. into the, the bottle. And I, we probably did at least 10,000 bottles that way. It was a lot. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's a carpal tunnel. Yeah. Waiting to happen. It was a workout. Sparkling wine. Now we've upgraded to the machine where you just load the bottle and you push a button and it pushes the cork in for you. <laughs> so is that part of the tour? Can, can yeah. people tell that the whole process? Yeah, so we we show everybody the equipment and walk them through how the magic is made. <laughs> White wine. I had no idea. Crema tartar, isn't that like the residue in wine casks? Yeah, so That's wine naturally has tartaric acid in it. And tartaric acid can crystallize over time or if it's chilled so like we actually have a tank that's hooked up to a chiller and it causes that cream of tartar 
to form and then you move it away from that. So then you don't get those crystals in the bottle, hopefully. <laughs> Mold wine. Charmaine's so back. what do you do with your cream of tartar? Do you guys package it? Yep. Do you guys package it or is it just? We just toss it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. Delaware don't again. <laughs> Was that last one sweet wine? Uh, no, mold wine. Oh, mold wine. Okay. Mold wine. And then Delaware. Delaware. Okay, I missed Delaware. There we go. Label. Okay, I'm gonna mess this word up. <laughs> that one is Saval Blanc. Saval, okay. I knew the Blanc, but. <laughs> yeah. We've been around that one for a long time and it's almost ready to bottle, so that'll be fun. Widow's Weekend. Oh, okay. This is this is what we've all been waiting for all week. <laughs> Finally, Friday, fiery red. Yep. <laughs> that one has brandy in it, so. What? Oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some. I'm gonna post the what we've had so far. Let okay. No, guys, if you're getting close, we've got to have a few people getting there. <laughs> Fox. <laughs> so this one's another French varietal. So the, the French way to pronounce that is Fauche. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Fauche? Fauche. Like an Fauche. H kind of sound. <laughs> okay, Fauche. Fauche, yeah. So I, I pretty much slaughtered the word. Oh, no, you did, you did great. A lot of people, when they do a tasting, they just point at the word. They don't even try. <laughs> I don't know. The week I've had, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Antler Shed Red. What is Petite Pearl? So that's another grape varietal. It is uh, a newer one. So we have a 2016 vintage of that, and that's like one of the first vintages of Petite Pearl. So they just started coming out in like 2015 and 2016. Ah, nice. Edelweiss. I better not mess that up because I'm pretty German. Oh, here's another one. Buck. Sunday fun day sparkling. How you doing over there, Charmaine? <laughs> the sound is <laughs> I think every I think technology is just messing up completely today. Ooh, Julie has a wino. Ooh, yay. Happy wino. <laughs> So make sure to send us either a Facebook message or you can send us an email to um, at events at timberhillwinery.com. Do we want to keep going or did we, should we try to get one more winner this round or? Do you want to try to do that, Cindy? Uh, sure. Okay, wine tasting. Ooh, this sounds really good. Cranberry spritzer. Sh 
Champagne saver. I, I swear, really, everyone, I am trying to. Oh, here we go. Oak barrel. Vineyard. Live music. And you guys have some really good live music there. Yeah, so we started that back up. Last weekend was our first time having the music back and we've been doing it uh, right now, as long as weather permits, we're gonna have live music every Sunday at two o'clock outside. And so we have Jessica Lynn will be coming on this coming Sunday at two o'clock, so. Oh, wow. We get out some good musicians for sure. Weinston. You know who Weinston is? <laughs> um, I saw that you posted that Weinston was on the road visiting around Wisconsin. So no, is it a dog or is it mascot? <laughs> so we have Wine Wednesday is our one of our wines and there's a camel on the bottle and we named him Weinston. And so now we have a little stuffed camel that we take all around. And every Wednesday we post a picture of Weinston and people guess where Weinston's at each week. <laughs> Why did you choose Wednesday and a camel? Uh, <laughs> Wednesday. <Don't> <laughs> <I know. laughs> right. Yeah. A, a lot of people, like some people get it right away, but there's a lot of people that like it takes <laughs> a little bit to connect those dots. <laughs> oh, uh, Brittany wanted to know if uh, we we just reset and no, we're still playing. We're going for another diagonal. Yep. So we're still going for a diagonal and we've got, I'll post. Uh, so the ones that were called before are still good. And I'm posting what we've called again here. So. Awesome. All right. Great press. Reserve red. Are you back, Charmaine? <laughs> we can't hear you. I think you're muted. <laughs> She's not <laughs> muted on our system, but. <laughs> hmm. Corkscrew. Oh, here, here, this is completely up Charmaine's alley. Yoga and wine. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. We do that every other Thursday. So we've got that coming up this coming Thursday. So Charmaine, <laughs> yoga. <laughs> I think it's probably the headset, maybe. I don't know. Pineapple. Oop, we've Ooh. got another wino. <laughs> Yay, Carrie. Yay, okay. Carrie. Wino. So for everyone that does not know her, Carrie Nevins is our fearless leader. She's our executive director. Awesome. And I swear it's not fixed because we are in separate areas. <laughs> Everybody's safe at their own home. <laughs> yep. We are separate together for sure. Oh, Mary got wino too. We got. Oh, congratulations, Mary. Multiple wino. So both Mary and Carrie, please. Uh, Send us a message and then we can send you your prize for winning Wino Bingo. And then yep. I think we should have everybody clear their cards and do something different. So just to remind Carrie, um, okay, she just sent a, a message. She got the Wino. So they take a photo of their card. Yep. And they send you a message through Facebook Messenger. Yep. So if that's... Okay. 
the easiest way. So if you're playing uh, on your phone, you can take a screenshot and send it to us. Or if you're got, if you printed out the cards, then you can take a picture of it and send it to us. Okay. And, <laughs> what did we clear? win? I missed that. What did we win? So we send everybody who wins a coupon where they can redeem it for either a wine tasting, a glass of wine, or one of our famous wine pouches. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a free sun for adults only. <laughs> I like it. Um, are we clearing the card or are we, Amy said blackout. <laughs> we don't want to black out, trust me. <laughs> but I, th yeah, I think we should have everybody clear their cards and then uh, we could do like four corners. That's usually a fun one. And, okay. Uh, do you guys want to try the four corners? Sure. Okay. So, um, Charmaine, you're back, right? You can hear us I'm and back. everything? All I right. Yep. Hey, um, so we didn't mention what this week is for AHA with everyone. It's this CPR. No, this week is oh, CPR week. Our week. Yeah, yeah, it's National yeah. CPR Week. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. If anyone is interested in learning more, you can connect with Cindy or I. But we um, do a ton of hands-only CPR trainings in the community, and always happy to come out. And Jessica as well, and and Carrie, I'm I'm speaking for you because you can't speak back. But <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, not a first time, though, right? <laughs> we're always happy to come out and um, and do hands-only CPR trainings. Yeah, and we have um, we have Kelly. Kelly's up in Appleton, right? And Jane is in the Green Bay area. So mm -hmm. we are all over. We would love to, you know, um, train everyone in CPR. I, when's the last time, you know, you you learned how to do that? And it can happen, you know. It can happen anytime, anywhere. Before all this, did you guys go to I'm sorry, what? <laughs> do you guys do CPR classes normally? Or we don't actually certify people okay. in CPR. We can um, we can direct you to someone who can. Okay. But um, Cindy, myself, Jessica, and Carrie and I, we are not um, we are not qualified to certify you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But you know what we found um, is that often when people are in that uh, emergency situation, um, that they can panic and they'll, they can forget, you know, how many compressions to breaths. Mm -hmm. And um, so hands only CPR is um, simply, you know, placing your, your hands in the middle of the chest and, and compressing hard and fast a hundred beats per minute. So um, right. staying alive or um, if um, another one bites the dust, I guess that's a little bit more morbid, but um, either of those songs, you know, both, um, you know, you, you push to that beat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we also um, we've worked with uh, two one or nine one one dispatchers statewide to okay. make sure that they can at least talk somebody through doing CPR. Um, it's very much life saving. Uh, our high school students too, right, Charmaine? Yeah, yeah. It's been gosh three years ago now. Um, we mm -hmm. were able to get a bill put in place to um, require all high school students in order to graduate to be trained in how to give hands-only CPR. So that actually puts 48,000 students into the state every year that know how to save a life. That's yep. awesome. Yep. And we've heard a couple times where, you know, somebody's been at work or or uh, uh, someone's been at a sporting event and their coach dropped over and they were able to perform CPR, life-saving. So we do a lot of different things. All right, we're ready. So we're going to go four oh. corners this time. <laughs> I I love Jeff. Um, Jermaine, <laughs> do you see his comments? I can't. I have to because I'm on my phone. I couldn't oh, okay. Work. I have to. That's why I disappear all the time because that's how I see the chats. <laughs> okay. He, he he said the office scene. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I love that, actually. Yep. <laughs> it's one of our favorites. Yes. Time to harvest the organs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually used it. <laughs> I have, yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is all about, we're, we're a sassy bunch. 
Sassy Saturday Sangria. Say that after three glasses of wine. Right? So we're picking <laughs> off round three, doing four corners, and starting with Sassy Saturday Sangria. That's a good way to start it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Haley's Corker. Who's Haley? <laughs> no, I don't. She must be the inventor. I don't know. Okay, okay. Here we go. Lemon again. That's just what they called it, is Haley's Corker for whatever. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. This is seasonal. Rhubarb. Rhubarb season right now, right? It's rhubarb. It is. It is. I don't have any though. Yeah. Brandy. You can't be a Wisconsinite and not like brandy. Yeah. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. Wine or brandy. <laughs> Family feud trivia. So do you guys have, is that part of the game night? Is that every other? Yep, so we do the bingo every other week, and then we do Family Feud Trivia on the alternating Friday nights. Gotcha. Okay. Tank. Charmaine, what are you drinking? Oh. I was, I was drinking rosé, but it's all gone. <laughs> And I didn't drink the whole bottle. It's been open. <laughs> you didn't have a husband <laughs> for it was no. I did not have a husband for no. <laughs> I'm impressed though. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Wine Wednesday white. This sounds out almost painful. Wine Gito, what is that? It's Wine, wine heat 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 like a mojito. Gotcha. Okay. Only wine heat heat. Heat. Yeah. So it's basically a white wine, uh, some lime juice and fresh mint, and then a little spritzer. Uh, sometimes I'll throw in a shot of pineapple juice. Ooh, that sounds really good. I got to hang out down there. <laughs> Wisconsin wine. The best. <laughs> we aren't partial though. <laughs> Just a little. Here we go with the wine chiller. Seems to be a favorite one tonight. Yeah. Wine pouches. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Tuesday Booze Day Blush. <laughs> oh, there's Frankie. I'm back with Frankie for a TV and baby. Frankie, Frankie. <laughs> Poor little guy. He's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Cookie class. But, oh, I was going to say, we've had uh, one of our previous virtual wine bingos. Uh, somebody had their daughter helping her call bingo, and she was so cute. But I don't think he's quite old enough to help call with the wine bingo. <laughs> yeah. Not no, yet. no, he's not quite there. <laughs> Dry. Gift cards. Semi sweet. Red wine. Wonder four corners usually goes pretty quick, so we've got to have some people that are getting close. Yeah, you'd think. Ooh, this sounds really good. 
truffle flight. What is that? We do like chocolate pairings where you can get five truffles that go with the wine flight. Only this month we're switching it up and we're actually doing a cheesecake flight. Julie says, what? <laughs> can you? <laughs> Wine. That's an easy one. <laughs> it sure is, isn't it? Oh, got Bloody Mary again. Oh, she's asking if we can post what it was called so far. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, sure. Go so check the comment section. I posted all the ones that were called so far. Should I give give them a second to get caught up just in case? Sure. Okay. So do you like a really spicy Bloody Mary, Cindy? Or are you, like you were saying, the horseradish? That's a different kind of spice, I would say, than jalapeno spice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like jalapeno too, but... Um, no, I like to, I like making my uh, Bloody Marys with V8 because I kind of like that kind of full flavor of all the veggies. Um, I put horseradish in it. I use pickle juice, olive juice, mm -hmm. uh, lots of Worcestershire. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really much for the salad bar with it. I mean, I just, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of a purist. Yeah. But yeah, I'll do bacon and stuff like that too. In moderation. Chips and salsa. Yeah, I like the classic, just like cheese, pickle, little meat stick, bacon's good. Yeah, people get crazy. Well, I will, I'll do like shrimp, you know. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a good one, too. <laughs> yeah, it's like a shrimp cocktail, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, you're going to have to say this. <laughs> Frontenac Gris. <laughs> I'm just not even going to try. You don't have to. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I know. Wine pairing. So how long have you been with uh, Timber Hill? So I started the business in May of 2015. So it's been five years now. And then we opened our doors in October of 2016. So, That's amazing. Yeah. You guys have, I mean, you guys have really grown, haven't you? I mean. Yeah, yeah, we've had, we started out super small. We had these little rooms and <laughs> we very quickly outgrew those. And then we opened up a, a bigger tasting room. And so it's, it's been great. <laughs> Sparkling wine. Corkscrew. <laughs> She's coming back with her uh, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. So during all this, when you had to close um, your, you know, the winery to the public, did you have a lot of online sales? I mean, did that continue? Yeah, so we were pretty quick to adapt. We added a uh, pickup and delivery to our website. And that I think was a big help because a lot of people wanted to do the online and, you mm -hmm. know, minimal contact. And so, and we've continued that too. So that's still an option that people can do, uh, just order all online and even have it delivered to their house within like so many miles of the winery. Wow. That's awesome. Marquette Rosé. Yeah, we've been talking to a lot of businesses that have uh, had to pivot, you know, how they did their business. And we've been really fascinated with um, companies actually collaborating together. You know, normally they might not even, their business might not even fit. Um, but, you know, they've uh, worked through it, which has been pretty amazing. Bottle. You know, and immediately, you know, the, 
middle of, I think it was like our last day open at all of our offices was uh, March 13th, really. That mm -hmm. following week, I mean, our offices have been closed. Yeah. And what's nice is that we have this technology infrastructure that allows us to work from home so we didn't miss a beat. So yeah. we were able to support the businesses and the community that support us, um, which is, it's amazing. It's a great investment, you know, to work together. Yeah. Is that Muscat? Yeah, Muscat. It's just like Muscato, just uh, okay. slightly different. It's like a the cousin to Muscato. <laughs> just missing the O, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wine tasting. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that there's some volunteers that we have for our STEM planning committee. They're playing. Um, on the 19th, we're going to have a bigger group. Uh, we're going to have our Circle of Red join us. Awesome. Vine Vineyard. Why did I say Vine? Jeez. Vineyard. <laughs> um, our Circle of Red actually are, it's a, it's a fantastic group of men and women that um, support us in Go Red. And um, they're just, just amazing. Uh, they're ambassadors. Spiced Red. And um, they're like donors that give $500 or more per year. And we get together and uh, we want to learn. We were going to do a physical, uh, you know, get together and go there for a, a tour. Yeah. Uh, get everyone together. But we'll see how that all works out. I, I don't know that the 19th is going to work out. But um, we will in the future for sure have you guys on our on our radar to go. Bottle filler. So they'll be joining next week. Anne May will be back with me. Yeah. Yeah, it was great to hear her story on Wednesday night when you guys came. Oh, she's incredible. She really is. Label. Yeah, she uh, she's, you know, out, out on the front line. She's a pharmacist. And, you know, I mean, it's it's amazing. I, you know. All the people that we work with that are frontline workers, mm -hmm. tasting room. So with COVID, we've been working with um, professionals that are coming back out of retirement to help out at hospitals and so forth. And they need to get up, you know, up to speed with CPR and ventilation and oxygenation. So we've been at the hospitals. Marquette. Yeah, I'm sure with everything going on, you guys are definitely staying busy. Yeah, for sure. We have a support network too. So, you know, I mean, when you're isolated, you kind of, you get a little stir crazy. So we do have uh, some some resources for people that are at home, high risk, at least uh, networks. Uh, St. Croix. Our website, heart.org, has a lot of resources for people. So if you haven't visited, please do. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning all the things that we're doing. Champagne saver. Sorry about the reflection, everyone. Are we still on Four Corner? Yeah, I think so. I haven't seen. I know this is taking a lot longer. <laughs> I mean, this is like. <laughs> Did everyone freeze out there? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, but let us know, guys, if you're getting close. Here, I'm going to post uh, what we're, we've are we got so far again. Four corners. <laughs> it's only four corners. You only need four. Right. <laughs> yeah, this one is taking a lot longer than they. It really is. Jessica, <laughs> Carrie, are you out there? Can you type <laughs> in? Did we freeze? Jeff? <laughs> Bueller, anybody? Right, right. <laughs> Maybe we bored everyone. They logged off. <laughs> Can you see how many people are on? Oh, you're good. Okay, yeah. thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> oh, Jenny says her daughter just needs one. So we've got okay. some getting close here. <laughs> Yoga and wine. 
you add a goat and that's going to be fun. The goat yoga. Have you heard about that? Oh yeah. Yeah. I would love that. I've seen uh llama and alpaca yoga too. I'm, I'm a big fan of llamas. <laughs> well, they kind of spit, don't they? But oh, <laughs> mama yoga, that sounds dangerous. I think they pretty much just kind of stand there and watch oh. the humans. <laughs> Mary, Julie, and Jenny, they just need one. They're one away. Yeah, so we've got quite a few people who are close. Cheese tray. Brittany needs one. Okay. Petite Pearl. So those have to be pretty similar to champagne grapes. Those little, have you ever had those? The champagne grapes? Yeah, they're little. Oh. I got them at Trader Joe's a couple of years ago. Oh, Brittany has wino. Oh, yay. Yay, Brittany. We've got one wino. Should we keep going and try to get one more since we've got so many that are really close here. I think that's only fair. They're listening to us and you know. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good to me. Ooh, one of my favorites, an old fashioned. Yeah, that sounds good right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty partial to Bloody Marys and old fashions. Yeah, you know? you're a true Wisconsinite. <laughs> I am, I am. <clears throat> here goes Team Almond. <laughs> There you go, Jeff. <laughs> Julie says yes. Is that that you like old fashions? <laughs> Maybe she's excited. We're trying to get one more winner here. <laughs> Harvest. I feel like that just keeps coming up. Try it. <clears throat> Ooh, this is something new. Big buck. Blueberry. Yeah. That's a popular one. La Crescent. La Crescent. La Crescent. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Crescent. A lot of people say La Crescent. I mean. Is it a cr croissant is, it's a French yeah. word. I mean, you say La. Yeah. Yeah. So. More people say Le Croissant than Le Crescent. <laughs> Grape Press. I actually added to our website, if you go to our wine list, there's a little microphone button that has uh, the pronunciations of a lot of the wines because they're kind of tricky to pronounce. So we added that on the website so people can... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's part of the training for bingo calling from now on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, finally Friday, Fiery Red. So what's going on there this weekend? What's what's going on tomorrow? Tomorrow, we just, we've got reservations open. We've been trying to get people to make a reservation. You don't have to, but it just, it helps us and people to make sure since we have a more limited capacity right now. So tomorrow we just have tastings and glasses. And then on Sunday, we've got the music. Nice. Rhubarb. Looks like it's going to be good weather all weekend. So that's exciting. Glass. We still have a lot of people near one, huh? Yeah. Spiced white. Raspberry rosé. Fermentation. Well, the weather's supposed to be good, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. So you have a uh, patio seating too, don't you? We do, yep. 
Reserve Red. Yeah, we set up our reservation system so people can book a table inside or outside too. Oh, here you go. <laughs> a jalapeno. I think that's the first time that's been called tonight, right? It is, it is. <laughs> Exciting events. Oop, Jeff's got a wino. Well, there you go, Jeff. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Are we gonna continue on or what are we doing? That's up to you. Do you want to try to get one more winner for this? I do. You know what? Because I think we're all committed. All we right. Have too many people sitting on one. Wino for Mindy. <laughs> so we got two winos already, but you want to call a couple more to get one more wino? Let's give them a shot. Let's go all two right. more. All right. It sounds good. Okay. We'll do Weinston. And so Julie or Mindy, send us a message. And Jeff, you know, has send us a message. He better, right? <laughs> okay. And the last one. Cranberry. Okay. Was that all of them? Do you want me to go one or two more before they clear their cards? Or do you want to have them clear their cards and do a whole nother round? Or should we try to just get one more winner this round? Let's try one more winner. Okay. Right. Okay. I misunderstood. I just, okay. Pizza. I have to read Charmaine oh. sent us a message. That is too funny not to share. She uh, had to uh, disappear because her baby and her cat were uh, wrestling. So she had to sign off before someone got hurt. So <laughs> she says, thanks for having me. Well, thank you for joining <laughs> us, of course. <laughs> of course. And Amy has a wino. Yay, Amy. Got another wino tonight. <laughs> Awesome. So you guys are going to be back here on June 19th for two weeks from today for some more wino bingo. Yeah. And you're going to have some, uh, Anne Marie will be here. Charmaine will be here again. So I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I, I haven't, I'm working on confirming who all wants to come, but, okay. um, it's, it's kind of the virtual official circle of red event. So it's a really great group of people, uh, you know, just amazing. And it's it's uh, doctors, different companies, um, retired. I mean, it's just a really nice mix, uh, cross section of, you know, the community. And they all just uh, came together and just believe in everything that we do. So we always try and make it a mission-based event, you know, have a little fun, mm -hmm. drink a little wine, which is nice. Heart healthy in moderation. Right. Um, yeah, so we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to having you guys again. So, yeah. Well, I think we can call it a night for tonight. And thank you, everybody out there, for joining us tonight. And congratulations to all of our Wino Bingo, Wino Bingo winners. <laughs> and, uh, Hopefully you guys can join us again in two weeks when Cindy and some other friends from the American Heart Association of Wisconsin will be back here again. And in yes. the meantime, please, if you can, make a donation. It's super easy. Just text that 41444 number and just text the word Wino Bingo and you'll get a link and it's 
super easy to uh, make a donation. Yeah, absolutely. And um, thank you so much for having us. Oh, Julie is this online one of last. Okay. So we'll be doing it virtually next uh, in two weeks as well, correct? Yeah. And then if anybody does want to come to the winery, though, in two weeks, we will have it up on the TV and we've got bingo cards there. So if you want to join us virtually, you can do that. Or if you want to come to the winery, you can come to the winery. So either way, <laughs> whatever you're comfortable with. Well, thank you so much for having us. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Well, thank you for joining us. And yeah, I'm excited to be back here in two weeks. Me too, for sure. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.